no accident to we shine because read remember repeat I write my life down with a pencil a never paid attention but I should have never finished life Salute, salute to y'all. Miraculous, miraculous week over here at the Read Remember Repeat Studios. And y'all know we kicked the show off showing some love. Hey, man, shout outs to I Am Master the Academy. That's the academy that's teaching people how to learn and earn on the go. Teaching people how to invest and be on the right side of money. Shout outs to Doc Spills and all the educators over there that's teaching people, whether it's levels, colors, harmonics. Uh, we're simply teaching people how to learn and invest And you can just match your colors That's what we learned from day one So get with me That's at Re Remember Repeat Or at Big Mugger Those are my Instagrams And let's get this money, family One time said, surround your mind with greatness Some of it will rub off This is my office This is where I start my day And every day I read something Form a habit of reading every day It's about progress Stay focused and always, 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 family, remember this. Read, remember, and repeat. Oh, All man, you have to do with that. that man. Big Mitch, man. Thank you. The Four Agreements, that's what we on right now, and we at the end of the book. So January just started, and look at that, we almost done with one book, family. So for those that, that don't read or tap into the show, keep tapping in, man. Uh, download the PDF or, you know, purchase you a book, man. The Zen from that and what it does for your future is amazing, man. It just sits you down and, 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 and puts you in an imaginary state of, uh, you know, Dreaming and just dreaming about the things that you could accomplish or you could do too. Um, better than the thoughts from TV or just YouTube, you know, Instagram. But this is your host with the most Michael Gordon. We are going to begin this thing and get out the right way. Page 126. Imagine living without the fear of loving and not being loved. You are no longer afraid to be rejected. You don't have the need to be accepted. You can say I love you with no shame or justification. You can walk in the world with your heart completely open and not be afraid to be hurt. Imagine living your life without being afraid to take a risk and to explore life. You are not afraid to lose anything. You are not afraid to be alive in the world and you are not afraid to die. Imagine that you love yourself just the way you are. You love your body just the way it is, and you love your emotions just the way they are. You know that you are perfect just as you are. The reason I ask you to imagine these things is because they are all entirely possible. You can live in a state of grace, a state of bliss, the dream of heaven, but in order to experience this dream, you must first understand what it is. Only love has the ability to put you in that state of bliss. Being in bliss is like being in love. Being in love is like being in bliss. You are floating in the cloud. You are receiving love wherever you go. It is entirely possible to live this way all the time. It is possible because others have done it. They are no different than you. They live in bliss because they have changed their agreements and are dreaming a different dream. Once you feel what it means to live in a state of bliss, you will love it. You will know that heaven on earth is truth, that heaven truly exists. Once you know that heaven exists, once you know it is possible to stay there, it's up to you to make the effort to do it. 2,000 years ago, Jesus told us about the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of love, but hardly anyone was ready to hear it. They said, what are you talking about? My heart is empty. I don't feel the love that you are talking about. I don't feel the peace that you have. You don't have to do this. Just imagine that his message of love is possible, and you will find that he is yours. The world is very beautiful and very wonderful. Life can be very easy when love is the way of life. You can be loving all the time. This is your choice. You may not have a reason to love, but you can love because to love makes you so happy. Love and action only produces happiness. Love will give you inner peace. It will change your perception of everything. You can see everything with the eyes of love. You can be aware that there is love all around you. When you live this way, there is no longer a fog in your mind. When you 
Tote has gone on a permanent vacation. This is what humans have been seeking for centuries. For thousands of years, we have been searching for happiness. Happiness is the lost paradise. Humans have worked so hard to reach this point, and this is part of the evolution of the mind. This is the future of humanity. This way of life is possible, and it's in your hands. Moses called it the promised land. Buddha called it Nirvana. Jesus called it heaven. And the Toltecs called it a new dream. Unfortunately, your identity is mixed with the dream of the planet. All of your beliefs and agreements are there in your father. You feel the presence of the parasite and believe it is you. This makes it difficult to let go, to release the parasite, to create the space to experience love. You are attached to the drug, attached to the victim. Suffering makes you feel safe because you know it is so well. What? Because you know it so well. Suffering makes you feel safe because you know it so well. But there is really no reason to suffer. The only reason you suffer is because you choose to suffer. If you look at your life, you will find many excuses to suffer. But a good reason to suffer, you will not find. The same is true for happiness. The only reason you are happy is because you choose to be happy. Happiness is a choice and so is suffering. Maybe we cannot escape from the destiny of the human. But we have a choice to suffer our destiny or to enjoy our destiny. To suffer or to love and be happy. To live in hell or to live in heaven. My choice is to live in heaven. What is yours? Human, we're going to give y'all the sauce and we be right back. Let's hang out this one. Number five is being honest with yourself. The key to happiness is holding yourself accountable for everything that goes on within your control. Whenever you're being honest with yourself, you focus on existing. You're no longer the center of attention or the conductor of the train. You're now, you have become the couch. You have put yourself in the place of an observer. And a lot of times when you're the conductor of the train, you can't see what's going on on the caboose. You know what the fuck to do. You need to do it. The answer lies within, not externally. Do it. Number four is knowing what you want. In order to get what you want, you have to know what you want. You have to discipline yourself and align yourself to achieve these goals. Why accept failure when success is free? That's my focus. So me being goal-oriented, I'm going to align myself and put myself in situations that are productive and not counterproductive toward me reaching my goal, whatever it is. Number three. It's knowing who you are. The people around you cannot dictate your feelings. You have to know who you are. And I know who I am. So I don't want to go and be at a club full of people dancing, jumping around, all that. That's not what I am. I like to go to the bookstore, give me a nice book. I know who I am. I'm not afraid to be who I am. If you're a person and you don't like who you are, like me, I was a fat slob. I did not like having breasts. That means I need to do something about it. Because talking and complaining about it, it's not going to get it fixed. All you have to do, if you don't know who you are, here's a great way to find out. Go somewhere by yourself and think about who you are as a person. Think about the things that make you feel good. Think about the things that make you happy. Think about the things that make you sad. Think about the things you love. Think about the things you hate. You are getting to know yourself. I've been to who I was. It's just that. My goals have changed, and I want to be a sex symbol. T-W-S-G, the world's sexiest gangster magazine. <sighs> That's what I want. Number two, belief in self. Number two was one of the hardest for me. So many people had told me so many negative things about myself till I started to begin to believe those things. I started with small improvements. My belief in myself and my capabilities began to strengthen. I was a fast slob. I couldn't run, so I had to start walking. I said, hold on, I'm getting good with walking. I had to start a slow jog, then a fast jog. Now I'm full sprints. I couldn't do one pull-up. Now I'm doing pull-ups. You know what I'm saying? I believe in myself. And now, it's nothing in the world that I feel like I can't do. You know, a $40 million condo in Manhattan? I'll have that in no time. Yeah, big general, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Number one, belief in God or a higher being or belief in a creator. For me, my method of choice or institution of belief would be Islam. And when I say 
belief in God. I'm talking about that positive energy, that creative force that puts great people together. I meet positive people all the time that don't subscribe to a religion. They believe in existing. They believe in the all. Like, they just believe in it. Like, all is one and one is all. Like, when you go in nature, everything coexists without interference. It may look wild, but it's so organized. We as humans, sometimes we get outside of that. We get outside of existing and becoming better people. And we start trying to get better things. And it's cool to have things, but when you have things, things end up having you. But when you have yourself, oh my God, it's a beautiful situation. And we are back, family. I mean, um, we are definitely going to finish out this book. This is the end of it. And this one is Prayers. Prayers. Please take a moment to close your eyes, open your heart, and feel all the love that comes from your heart. I want you to join with my words in your mind and in your heart to feel a very strong connection of love. Together, we are going to do a very special prayer to experience communion with our Creator. Focus your attention on your lungs as if, you're, if only your lung exists. lungs exist. Feel the, pres the pleasure of when your lungs expand to fulfill the biggest need of the human body. Take a deep breath and feel the air as it fills your lungs. Feel how the air is nothing but love. Notice the connection between the air and the lungs, a connection of love. Expand your lungs with air until your body has the need to expel that air. And then exhale and feel the pleasure again. Because when we fulfill any need of the human body, it gives us pleasure. To breathe gives us much pleasure. Just to breathe is enough for us to always be happy, to enjoy life. Just to be alive is enough. Feel the pleasure to be alive, the pleasure of the feeling of love. Prayer for freedom. Today, creator of the universe, we ask that you come to us and share with us a strong communion of love. We know that your real name is love. That to... Have a communion with you means to share the same vibration, the same frequency that you are because you are the only thing that is true in the universe. Today, help us to be like you are, to love life, to be life, to be love. Help us to love the way you love with no conditions, no expectations, no obligations without any judgment. Help us to love and accept ourselves without any judgment because when we judge ourselves, we find ourselves guilty. Help us to love everything you create unconditionally, especially other human beings, especially those who live around us, all our relatives and people whom we try so hard to love. Because when we reject them, we reject ourselves. And when we reject ourselves, we reject you. Help us to love others just the way they are with no conditions. Help us to accept them the way they are without judgment because if you judge them, Today, clean our hearts of any emotional poison that we have. Free our minds from any judgment so that we can live in complete peace and complete blessings. Today is a very special day. Today, we open our hearts to love again so that we can tell each other our love without any fear and no pain. I will, today, we offer ourselves to you. Come to us. Use our voices. Use our eyes. Use our hands. Use our hearts to share ourselves in communion of love with everyone. Today, Creator, help us to be just like you are. Thank you for everything that we receive this day, especially for the freedom to be who we really are. Amen. Prayer for love. We are going to share a beautiful dream together, a dream that you will love to have all of the time. In this dream, you are in the middle of a beautiful, warm, sunny day. You hear the birds, the wind, and a little river. You walk toward the river. At the edge of the river is an old man in meditation. And you see out of his head comes a beautiful light of different colors. You try not to bother him, but he notices your presence and opens his eyes. He has the kind of eyes that are full of love and a big smile. You ask him how he is able to radiate all that beautiful light. You ask him if he can teach you what he is doing. He replies that many, many years ago, he had the same question. 
watching my video. The old man begins to tell it this story. My teacher opened this chest, took out of his heart, and he took a beautiful flame from his heart. And he opened my chest, opened my heart, and he put that little flame inside me. He put my heart back in my chest, and as soon as my heart was inside me, I felt intense love. Because the flame he put in my heart was his own love. That flame grew in the heart and became a big, big fire. A fire that doesn't burn, but purifies everything that it touches. And that fire touched each one of the cells in my body. And the cells in my body loved me back. I became one with my body, and my love grew even more. The fire touched every emotion of my mind. And all the emotions transformed into a strong and intense love. And I loved myself completely, unconditionally. But the fire kept burning, and I had the need to share my love. I decided to put a little piece of my love in every tree, and the trees loved me back. And I became one with the trees, but my love did not stop. It grew more. I put a piece of love in every flower, in the grass, in the earth. They loved me back, and we became one. And my love grew more and more to love every animal in the world. They responded to my love. And they loved me back, and we became one. But my love kept growing and growing. I put a piece of my love in every crystal, and every stone in the ground, in the dirt, in the meadows, and they loved me back. And I became one with the earth. And then I decided to put my love in the water, in the ocean, in the rivers, in the land, in the snow, and they loved me back, and we became one. And still, my love grew more and more. I decided to give my love to the air, to the wind. I felt a strong communion with the earth, with the wind, with the oceans, with nature, and my love grew and grew. I turned my head to the sky, to the sun, to the stars, and put a little piece of my love in every star and the moon, and the sun, and they loved me back. And I became one with the moon and the sun and the stars, and my love kept growing and growing. And I put a little piece of my love in every human, and I became one with the whole of humanity. Wherever I go, whomever I meet, I see myself in their eyes because I am part of everything because I love. And then the old man opens his own chest, takes out his heart with that beautiful flame inside, and he puts that flame in your heart. And now that love is growing inside of you. Now you are one with the wind, with the water, with the stars, with all of nature, with all the animals, with all the humans. You feel the heat and the light emanating from the flame in your heart. Out of your head shines a beautiful light of different colors. You are radiant with the glow of love, and you pray. Thank you, creator of the universe, for the gift of light you have given me. Thank you for giving me everything that I have ever truly needed. Thank you for the opportunity to experience this beautiful body and this wonderful mind. Thank you for living inside me with all your love, with your pure and boundless spirit, with your warm and radiant light. Thank you using my words, for using my eyes, for using my heart to share your love wherever I go. I love you just the way you are, and because I am your creation, I love myself just the way I am. Help me to keep the love and the peace in my heart, and to make that love a new way of life that I may live and love the rest of my life. Amen. Anyway, that was it. Just four agreements. Don't break them. Just four agreements. One is be impeccable with your word. Number two, don't take anything personally. Number three, don't make assumptions. And number four, always do your best. No accidental, we shine because we special. No Kim, Kali, a candle. The others, I ain't forget you. Some stories, this isn't meant to. I'm loving this instrumental. Ay, I write my life down with a pencil. Ay. And if you're into showing support, go get grateful. My first book as an author, I put out a journal that has 365 days for you to write down things that you are grateful for. So family, tap in. Let's go. Maybe this one, it ain't meant for you. I think about now and when I finish too. I think about mind, body, and spiritual. Like leaving something gone, you still feel it too. And right.